In this video, we're going to take a look at how you place a computer using Apple Silicon into Safe Boot mode. Safe Boot mode, or as it's sometimes called Safe mode, is a diagnostic tool that we can use to help resolve or isolate problems with the operating system of our computer. As Safe Boot only loads the core elements of Mac OS, typically we would enable Safe Boot if we find that our Mac is stalling at startup or we suspect that an application or third party driver is causing our computer to crash. In order to place a computer that is using Apple Silicon into Safe Boot mode, we first need to shut down our computer. Now, with our computer shut down, if we press and hold down the power button until our display shows loading startup options, When the startup option screen loads, by placing our mouse pointer over the Macintosh HD icon and then holding down the shift key on our keyboard, the button under the Macintosh HD icon will change to display the message continue in safe mode. If we select continue into safe mode, our computer will load into safe boot. However, because a Mac in safe boot mode will empty cached information and perform checks on its startup disk, you may find that your computer takes longer to start than normal. You will know that you're in safe boot mode because in the top right hand corner of the login screen, you can see the words safe boot highlighted in red. However, if we log into a user account, the only way that we can tell that we are in safe mode is if we select the Apple icon and then choose about this Mac. Now from the panel that opens, if we select system report, and then using the sidebar we select software, from the system software overview, we can see that boot mode has been set to safe. Now with confirmation that we're in safe mode, we can try and isolate what's causing the issue with our computer. For example, this could be to uninstall a specific application or driver that is preventing our computer from booting normally. To exit out of safe boot mode, we simply need to restart our Mac, which in turn will force our computer to reboot in normal mode. It's worth noting that because safe boot will empty cached files in Mac OS, when you return to running your Mac in normal mode, your computer may initially take longer to start up. This is because Mac OS will need to once again recache the files that safe boot deleted. However, by simply emptying these cached files, it can sometimes help to resolve stability problems with Mac OS. So IT technicians will often suggest that you simply load safe boot and then restart your computer to see if it fixes a software problem. 